first you're going to need three pieces of cardboard about two inches or one inch wide and about five or six inches tall and these are going to be your bookmarks and they can be definitely from recycled boxes you have in your house this one was from a cracker box but a macaroni and cheese box would work or a box of held rice even junk mail that has kind of a sturdier texture to it will work great for these bookmarks if you have them and you like this look you could definitely put that glue them back to back and trim them so they're both the same size and put a hole and then you could decorate this color um, of the blank or you can wrap them in paper i'm just using my kenosha news sampler here and i'm going to wrap my my different cardboard pieces making sure i get a nice coat of my glue stick all the way around remember if you don't have glue that can't that doesn't have to stop you you could just do the other side we're just gonna wrap this one oh, make sure you can see it here in the newspaper paper give it a new look if you have any um wrapping paper from home or maybe those bags that gifts come in you could turn that into bookmark paper too. So I'm just gonna, artists for a very long time have had to be resourceful. Even some of the first artists that painted our cave used caves used burnt sticks and water to make their first types of paints. So um, you don't gotta let supplies get in the way of you expressing yourself. So now you have kind of a pretty cool bookmark already. It looks like part of a book. Now you can decide to decorate it with pictures that you find from a magazine or from the newspaper even. And then you can make a positive message about living and making healthy choices in these stressful times. And we wanna encourage the people around us and ourselves to live, make healthy choices and live a healthy lifestyle so that way we can handle stress when it comes our way the whole point of these bookmarks. We're going to make one to remind us and then we're going to give two away. So here I am. I'm just going to use regular notebook paper. We all probably have some of that laying around and you can definitely use this to wrap your bookmark and I'm just going to make sure I coat lightly over top of my cardboard and then you want to smooth it out make sure it and you're going to push kind of hard and rub on it too so it really smooths it out so you know that it's going to stay and then you take that last part and you fold it over here you can kind of see some of my box shining through there but go like that and then there maybe you could talk about um with this one maybe you could talk about reading or studying to reduce stress you know plan lots of time for studying for a test so you don't stress out or just making some other kind of good healthy choices um, you could write a message here a positive message put stickers for your bookmark and then here I'm gonna take some more of my recycled materials that I have this is an old calendar that I use to test crayon colors and I just drew the letter M over and over again. And I'm just gonna put some glue on the paper, put some glue on my cardboard, put it face down, and I can cut the edges. Notice how I just sandwich folded them, so then you have one less edge that you have to worry about. And then you just wanna smooth it down, and then you can trim them up so they're all even later. So that is how to make your base. Last step is if you have one of these, you can, this is a hole puncher, you can stick your bookmark in here and punch a hole, but you don't have to make a hole because not all bookmarks have holes where they have little strings coming off of them. But if you have one of these, that would make a nice touch. Just in the top of these, poke a hole. 
So there's your base. And then you're, we're gonna talk about customizing the message for your three bookmarks and deciding which one you're gonna keep and which one you're gonna give away.